Today, we are talking about six vitamin and antioxidants you need to know to prevent, stop, or even reverse the complications of diabetes. Hi, I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I specialize in diabetes treatment. I am in a war with diabetes, and you are with me in this. So let's beat that beast. I'm going to talk about benfotiamine, alpha lipoic acid, B6, B12, vitamin D, acetyl L-carnitine, and how they can help you and when they are used effectively to stop or avoid diabetes complications. Who cares if your blood sugar is high if your blood sugar did not cause complications, right? The point of keeping blood sugar normal or close to normal is to prevent complications such as neuropathy, nerve disease, eye disease, kidney disease, heart disease, etc. When you have diabetes, though sometimes no matter what you do, your blood sugar can still spike, right? Causing immediate damage to your tissues and organs. There must be some other defense systems other than just keeping the glucose in normal range, right? Today, we will make sure you all know about these defense factors. Let's talk first about how this damage happens to begin with so we can get to the bottom of it to fix it and we know what we are dealing with, right? Well, food, mostly carbs, they all turn into glucose, right, in a healthy person and then they're absorbed into the bloodstream and then the pancreas secretes the hormone of the insulin and da 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 da. You all know this, right? And then insulin helps the glucose go into the cells and then the glucose turns into energy and used and stored, whatever, right? So the cells of pre-diabetic and diabetic people, on the other hand, what they do? They resist the insulin and it creates a glucose intolerance. The islet cells or the beta cells, which are specialized cells in the pancreas, respond by pumping out extra insulin when this happens, the insulin resistance. The islet cells burn off completely over time and then high blood sugar happens and we call this a diabetes, right? Well, then you end up with a bunch of insulin prescriptions or other medications to just keep the diabetes under control. Well, here's the big news. Despite these obstacles, most cells remain reasonably normal they maintain their internal glucose concentrations. But certain cells, like most notably endothelial cells, which line the insides of the arteries and the capillaries, are less self-regulatory. They have a tendency for accumulating large amounts of internal glucose, which they are unable to adequately digest. This leads to accumulation of intermediate glucose breakdown products, which activates the metabolic pathways linked to the beginning of diabetes complications. Now, what are the endothelial cells I'm talking about, right? Well, endothelial cells are like asphalt on the road. If sun gets really hot and melts the road down, what happens? Nothing moves, right? Then supply shortages will happen and everybody will be in pain. Well, your body is no different. If the cells lining your arteries, which resembles your highways, or even smaller regular streets are not functional or broken down, and of course your nerves, your kidneys, your eyes that rely heavily on blood supply and the nutrients will suffer the most. The hazardous intermediates of glucose breakdown leave a wake of damage, particularly in the small blood arteries that feed the eyes, the kidneys, and the extremities. Now, this faulty glucose metabolism, for example, may result in blindness in the retina. It may cause irreparable tissue damage in the kidneys, eventually leading to renal failure, kidney failure, and dialysis. It may also induce vascular disease and nerve discomfort in the extremities, sometimes all the way necessitating, unfortunately, amputation. Now, fortunately, benfotiamine, a little-known fat-soluble form of vitamin B1, has been shown to help in the prevention of many diabetic complications. As a result, benfotiamine has emerged as a critical nutrient for those seeking to avoid the potentially fatal effects of chronically high blood sugar levels. Now, benfotiamine has been used as a prescription medication in Europe for decades to slow the progression of diabetic nerve damage, kidney damage, eye damage, etc. Right? So, diabetic neuropathy especially impairs the function of the microvasculature, which is the tiny blood vessels in the extremities, as well as the ability of the nerves 
to carry messages to the brain. Now, this pathological blood vessel damage causes numbness and painful tingling in the feet and hands sometimes, which can lead to pain and in worst case scenario, unfortunately, amputation sometimes of the lower extremities. Now, benfotiamine works by blocking the biochemical pathways through which high blood sugar damages cells throughout the body. Benfotiamine, which is now available as a dietary supplement, including our supplement, can help diabetics protect the nerves, kidneys, eyes, blood vessels, and heart. Now, benfotiamine's multifaceted effects in preventing dangerous diabetic complications makes it a pretty much a must-have supplement for people who have high blood sugar levels. Remember, Sugar MD Neuropathy Support has plenty of benfotiamine, and actually, we will be talking about, you know, in this entire video about other ingredients, but we made sure that we included everything known to man that helps diabetes complications or prevents diabetes complications, and we called it Sugar MD Neuropathy Support. But in reality, it helps prevent all sorts of diabetic complications. Also, remember, benfotiamine is not like other diabetes drugs. Diabetes medications are some of the most commonly prescribed pharmaceuticals on the market today. It's a multi, multi, multi billion dollar industry. Current type 2 diabetes medications aim to reduce the dangerous accumulation of excess blood sugar in the bloodstream by either increasing the insulin production or improving its effectiveness. We have 80 plus diabetic medications in the market today. And yet, diabetic people are still having complications of diabetes. Now, many people have neuropathy or kidney disease. They may or may not know, but they will know because I see them every day and I let them know. Most of the time, they're not even aware of it. Because treatment is not complete or holistic without using what nature provides as natural defense systems, such as benfotiamine or alpha lipoic acid, etc., that we will be talking about in a minute as well. Yes, you heard me right. Benfotiamine is one of the most effective, yes, underutilized treatments for preventing diabetes de debilitating complications. So, what is it really? Let's talk about that. Benfotiamine is a chemical cousin of thiamine, an essential nutrient, which is B1, and thiamine aids in the conversion of fats and carbohydrates into glucose, a form of energy, as you all know. As a result, thiamine is required for proper glucose metabolism regulation. However, Thiamine is only soluble in water, and the benfotiamine is fat-soluble, allowing it to enter cells far more easily than thiamine, and thus help to prevent the diabetes-related cell dysfunction a lot better. Now, benfotiamine's increased bioavailability makes it particularly effective in treating diabetes and high blood sugar-related tissue and organ damage. Again, to reiterate, diabetes treatments that aim to increase insulin output or improve the cell response to insulin do not provide adequate protection against the diabetes or this disease's numerous complications. While diabetes medications help to address the problem of abnormally high plasma glucose levels, only benfotiamine and alpha lipoic acid kind of substances will lower intracellular glucose levels and modify the body's biochemical response to the toxic breakdown of the products of excess sugar. Benfotiamine promotes also the production of a very important enzyme, transketolase, a naturally beneficial enzyme that efficiently converts potentially toxic glucose breakdown byproducts into harmless compounds that body can safely eliminate. Now, several studies have shown that the benfotiamine inhibits three major pathways that lead to the formation of toxic substances like advanced glycation end products. Now, these things have been linked to the development and progression of a variety of diabetic disorders such as neuropathy, the retinopathy, as we discussed, even peripheral vascular disease, the arterial blockage in your legs and so forth. Nephropathy is another one, like the kidney disease as we talked about. Now, surprisingly, the same substances actually are related to cardiovascular damage that's also observed in aging adults who do not even have diabetes. 
In fact, even in non-diabetics, aging is thought to be a major risk factor for development of cardiac dysfunction. As you know, not everybody who has heart disease have diabetes, right? There's other risk factors. But these advanced glycation end products accumulate over time, even in older adults, even without diabetes. That's why, you know, eating too much sugar has been linked to cardiovascular disease, even if you do not develop diabetes from eating too much sugar. Now, unfortunately, in diabetics, this process is simply accelerated very much so, okay? So, what we are saying here that compared to non-diabetics, the benefit from benfetiamine will be so much better if you have diabetes. Now, benfetiamine has been used as a prescription drug, like, like I said, in Europe for many years, and in, in the United States, nobody even cares about it. It's like a hidden gem. Nobody knows about it. Now, researchers are turning their attention now to benfetiamine, and it's available in the United States as a dietary supplement, and guess what? You know, the pharmaceutical companies are not going to spend money on this because they're not going to be able to sell this for $1,000, right? So it's so inexpensive that nobody's going to promote it. Research is uncovering the evidence that it helps to offset the dangers of numerous complications of diabetes and high blood sugar. Now, benfetiamine also guards the sensitive nerve and brain tissue. As you know, one of the most common and painful complications of diabetes is neuropathy. Also, we call this a, you know, we can call it a nerve disease or neuropathy, but diabetic neuropathy has the certain characteristics. Now, damage to the extremities, peripheral nerves, results in pain that is typically not relieved by traditional pain relievers. Numbness and changes in the sensation in the limbs can happen. Polyneuropathy can happen, which means that the multiple nerves are involved in the extremities or in other body parts. Now, benfetiamine has been shown in clinical trials to effectively relieve diabetic polyneuropathy. So not just your feet or hands, you know, any part of your body, you may have neuropathy. Neuropathy can even happen in your heart. Neuropathy can ha happen in your torso. A recent random double-blind study in Germany discovered that diabetes uh, patients with polyneuropathy who took 300 milligrams of benfetiamine per day for three weeks saw a statistically significant improvement in nerve function scores. The most noticeable effect was a reduction in pain. The study's authors stated that their findings back up the findings of previous randomized controlled trials that found the evidence of benfetiamine's beneficial effects in diabetic neuropathy patients. Now, Diabetes, as you know, has been linked to increased oxidative stress, which is a factor in many age-related disease processes as well. The delicate tissue of the brain is especially vulnerable to the damaging effects of this oxidative stress due to diabetes. As a result, diabetes is becoming increasingly linked to cognitive decline, including dementia and Alzheimer's disease. And according to a new study, benfetiamine may protect the brain from oxidative stress associated with diabetes. Now, in a study, diabetes was experimentally induced in a group of test subjects, the rats, and the subjects were given two weeks of benfetiamine supplementation after two weeks of a high blood sugar level. Now, benfetiamine reduced oxidative stress in the brain, which is super common in diabetics, and that led the researchers to conclude that the benfetiamine may actually prevent diabetes-induced cerebral, which is brain oxidative stress, via a novel mechanism that we discuss. This implies that the benfotiamine provides critical protection for the delicate nervous system by protecting the peripheral nerves and the brain from diabetes-related damage. Now, that's enough about benfotiamine. Let's talk about alpha-lipoic acid. Not just diabetes, but also chronic disorders such as Lyme disease, shingles, thyroid disease, kidney failure, HIV, often cause nerve damage due to oxidative stress. People experiencing pain from unknown sources reported fewer severe pain scores when they took 400 milligrams of oral alpha-lipoic acid supplement compared to those who took a placebo. Again, according to a clinical investigation published in 2021, in people with diabetic neuropathy, a potentially severe disease that occurs especially in advanced diabetics, but can happen in pre-diabetics as well. Alpha-lipoic acid brings a very potent antioxidant effect. And a 2012 review of a Dutch trial showed that alpha-lipoic acid given over three weeks caused a significant and clinically relevant reduction in neuropathic pain. So 
I'll tell you more. A second assessment of a research indicated that a daily dose of 300 mg of alpha lipoic acid for two to four weeks was both safe and effective in alleviating neuropathy symptoms. Now, as a bonus feature, a systematic review and meta-analysis of 20 randomized controlled trials published in 2018 looked at the use of alpha lipoic acid in people with metabolic disorders. Some had type 2 diabetes, while others suffered from other metabolic disorders, etc. But the meta-analysis concluded that the alpha lipoic acid supplementation reduced fasting blood glucose, insulin concentration, insulin resistance, and hemoglobin A1C levels in the blood. Let's move on to B vitamins. We already talked about the fat-soluble B1 vitamin, which is the benfotiamine, but other B vitamins also are well known for their ability to promote normal nervous system function. For example, B6 and B12 have been shown to be particularly beneficial in the treatment of neuropathy. Well, that's why we have put all of these vitamins in sugar MD neuropathy support. Benfetiamine, like we discussed, aids in the reduction of pain and inflammation, whereas vitamin B6 protects the covering on nerve endings. B12 is required for proper neurological function, and a lack of B12 can definitely result in neuropathy. That's known by pretty much even a medical student. Now, many of you who take metformin regularly for years are more than likely to be B12 deficient. B vitamins are available as supplements or in eggs and seafood and vegetables and dairy products and so forth, even poultry, but it may prove difficult to get enough vitamins through eating unless you don't mind gaining weight. Acetyl-L-carnitine also is another one that I want to talk about, and that's an amino acid, and antioxidant that promotes the formation of healthy nerve cells. It alleviates nerve pain, and it increases the energy levels. Again, this has been shown to alleviate cancer-related fatigue and chemotherapy-induced neuropathy too. So it's available as a supplement, and we have it in our supplement, and it also occurs naturally in very small quantities in foods, again, such as meat, fish, poultry, and dairy products. Lastly, I will talk about vitamin D. Now, researchers investigated the effects of vitamin D replacement on neuropathic pain, and they looked at in a randomized placebo-controlled trial, and study of patients with this neuropathy and low vitamin D levels, and they based their research on the studies that showed the vitamin D associated improvements in axon regeneration and myelination of the nerves, etc. after the nerve injury. Now what happened is there was a increase in the growth factor synthesis and natural regeneration in these nerves. Most of the time, diabetics are vitamin D deficient, and they don't even know about it. To get enough vitamin D, you either have to eat salmon three to four times a week or go lay down on the beach for like hours of a day. Well, not sure if that's an easy task for anyone, so better to take a supplement to get what you need without having to go through all that. Plus, knowing that being deficient in vitamin D won't help your neuropathy, you should probably make sure, find a way to get this vitamin D levels up. We also Got you covered with that in our supplement, in our sugar MD neuropathy support. Sorry, it sounds like I did a lot of advertising of my own product, but hey, if nobody explained these to you, you wouldn't know it, right? So it's better to be safe than sorry and know it. You don't have to buy any of my supplements, but I want you to know what works for you and what will help you prevent your diabetic complications.